In this video, we are going to show you how to inoculate a sterile liquid culture medium with a bacterial colony. For this technique, you are going to need a test tube containing sterile nutrient broth, your bacterial culture on a solid culture medium, and a culture loop, also known as an inoculating loop. Before working with it, make sure the wire loop is straight by running it between your thumb and forefinger. There are two ways in which we hold the inoculating loop, like a pencil and like a paintbrush. I will show you which grip to use at each stage. So let's get started. Activate the blue flame on your Bunsen by turning the collar at the bottom of the burner and sterilize your loop by passing it through the hottest part of the Bunsen flame. Allow your loop to cool before proceeding. Pick up the part of the plate containing your bacterial culture. You can leave the lid of the plate on the bench and holding your inoculating loop like a pencil, collect a small sample of bacteria from a single colony. Next, get your test tube containing sterile nutrient broth and remove the lid using the little finger of your dominant hand. Pass the end of the test tube through the Bunsen flame to kill any lingering organisms stuck to the glass. Then tip the test tube to one side. Hold your inoculating loop like a paintbrush, insert it into the test tube and rub your sample of bacteria against the glass of the tube. You should aim for the part of the tube which is under the level of the culture medium when the tube is returned to vertical. This prevents you from aerosolizing the organism and as a consequence stops you from breathing in a potential pathogen. Once you have replaced the lid, you can gently agitate your culture to ensure your bacteria have dispersed within the culture medium. And that's it. All you need to do is label your tubes with your initials, date and bench number and place them for incubation.